Rocky and I travel the world doing video with two or three cameras. And you don't see the hard work uh, that Rocky does on his editing suite. He uses Final Cut Pro. But that's a, a, a piece of software on a Mac. And he can't work with other people. He can't uh, edit with other editors around the world because it's all stuck on his Mac. And we're going to see a company today that's using cloud technology to do video editing. It's really pretty remarkable. We're going to see it right now. It's called We Video. Who are you? Hi, Robert. I'm uh, Jostein Svensson. I'm the co-founder and CEO of We Video. Uh, we Video is my sixth company. Out of my first five, I had four successful exits. I have been almost 20 years in the internet business, almost before uh, it was called the internet or most people had heard about it. I started two of the leading internet companies uh, back in Scandinavia. Both went public on the Swedish stock market. I started an online stock broker uh, in London, which became American Express Financial Services Europe. I started an online bank, uh, which we sold to the third largest bank in the world. And I did a smartphone company, and now I'm back doing digital video and digital media, which is where I also started 20 years ago. When, when I first heard about cloud-based video editing, I was like, is this really going to work? Because I, I know the problem of uh, uh, you know, getting enough performance on the machines. You know, I, I'm doing 3D video right now, and, it, and bringing it in the machine and editing it takes a lot of time, and it, it, it takes a, a good, beefy machine. And I was like, how are we going to do this on the cloud when all these, how are we going to get all these files up there, and how are we going to do it? But I, I was I, pretty <laughs> impressed with what you're doing. <laughs> Absolutely, and, and I was completely blown away uh, by it myself first time I saw the product because it was developed in Norway by some extremely smart uh, people and they had been selling this to education in Europe for uh, four years, 250,000 kids using it across Europe. And most people ever think video editing in a web browser, that can be impossible to match the performance of a desktop. But what they have actually been able to achieve, or we now in we video, is that we can give you better performance in a web browser, even on a very uh, low-powered computer, and you can get even on the most powerful Macintosh. How or or the most possible? powerful PC. Well, it's we have moved all of <coughs> all <Sorry>. of the <coughs> all of the really computing intensive um, uh, computing uh, in the video editing have been moved to the cloud. So rendering, which can take forever uh, on even the most powerful computer, can take hours uh, on a personal PC, while it can go in a matter of seconds um, up in the cloud, because we scale out to multiple servers, multiple processors there. So it means that we can give a user experience that have been completely unmatched and you haven't seen on the desktop. Now, who is this for? Because there's people like Rocky, but there's not very many of them. You know, and, and he's using a Final Cut Pro or Avid or one of these professional video suites, uh, and all the way down to somebody on their cell phone. And I've seen a lot of companies lately that do automatic video editing, almost like a video game. We just interviewed one of those. To, uh, you just stick 15 video clips into the system and it picks the cuts and the dissolves and everything for you and spits out a movie at the end that looks pretty good. Where do you guys fit in this uh, world, I guess? Yeah, a, a really good question. And the amazing thing is that since we developed our product originally for kids, we thought that the next obvious target would be to go after consumers. But when we brought our uh, product to market, we realized that actually we have the most advanced video editing platform in the cloud today. Uh, it's more advanced than iMovie. It's almost as sophisticated as Final Cut Pro, but it's easier to use than both of them. So that have opened up a really big market uh, that we didn't know we could actually address such a big market. So we are talking to everything from professional uh, TV, media companies, all the way down to consumers and small businesses about them now being able to edit videos in high definition on everything from a mobile phone or a tablet uh, to a PC or a Mac. Yeah. What are the advantages of cloud? Because I, I see some advantages, but it, it takes a while for you to realize them. What, what are some of the adva advantages of uh, Wii Video over like a Final Cut Pro? Yeah, the, the Final Cut Pro and video editing in general on the desktop, it's a very lonely experience. Uh, you sit on your own computer, you have your own content, and you're sitting editing that. If you want to collaborate with anybody, they have to come to your house have to bring the files on a hard drive or on a stick. 
uh, while up in the cloud, when you're setting up an account there, you can invite other people to collaborate with you. So let's say you go to a wedding, uh, 40 people there all shooting images and video. You just send an email out to everybody and say, hey, you have a shared project area for this wedding. Why don't you upload all of your images and video from that? And we can collaborate on creating different videos from that wedding based on everybody's material. This had never been possible before, especially not on the desktop. And we now make it available to everybody in the cloud. Y y your system is designed for both pro cameras like what we're using. We're using Panasonic HVX 200s, if I remember right, all the way down to cell phones, right? That's correct. Yeah, we take almost uh, any format in because we are um, we are actually ingesting through what is called the FFmpeg, which is supporting almost every possible image, audio, and video format out there. And so once you get these things in, what does it look like on the screen? What, what do you see and what can you do? So we have two, uh, th two, three user experiences. Uh, one is the full featured editor, which is running in the web browser. Um, anybody who have been doing any video editing, they will quickly uh, recognize this way of working so they can get started on the product in five minutes. Um, then for people who haven't done video editing before, we have what we call uh, the video wizard. The video wizard, it's very simple. It just opens up a window. Uh, it shows you the different video files and images, you just drag them in the sequence you want. Uh, you select how long video you want, uh, which transitions you want, you hit create, and the wizard automatically build the whole video for you, with transitions and everything. So even a novice can now create a video in 30 seconds, much now, faster. Now a lot, of, a lot of people who uh, do video, like with a GoPro camera, $300 little camera, they take it skiing or whatever, and they want to put some music on that. Can they, can they import music as well? Or? Absolutely. So you can upload your own music uh, to the system. We also have a music library right now of 400 clips. We'll soon have millions of songs and audio effects and so on available through what is uh, going to be called our marketplace. And uh, so you can not only take other music, purchase, get the rights to use it into your own videos, but you can also get images and videos from other sources, even other users, uh, to our marketplace. That's really cool. It, take the GoPro example a little bit further. A lot of people have three cameras on the skier, you know, one on the tip of the skis, one on a helmet, one on the chest, right? And they want to edit those videos together, and maybe even one with a guy skiing next to them. So you have four videos. Can you do multicam like that, where you switch back and forth between four separate cameras? Absolutely. You can do as many cameras as you want because we are not limited really to the processing and the storage of your local computer. So in our software, you just set up as many video layers as you want, as many audio layers as you want. Uh, so it's re really not any practical limits to this. In addition to that, you can also create a wall of videos. Uh, four videos, six videos, nine videos, 16 videos, all running side by side in, in one image. Uh, it's all built into our platform. Can I use the cell phone to live encode, let's say, a live news event and have that video pour into the Wii Video Editor? That is coming. Uh, oh. We are working on uh, that. It's on the roadmap. Because uh, the world is moving to live very quickly. Uh, you, I'm one of the beta testers of YouTube Live and uh, mm. uh, with the uh, Google Hangouts. And so people can, can talk with us live. And I'd love to be able to edit that up right, right after and. Uh, and yep. push it back out. We, we're actually just looking for our first pilot partner uh, okay. to launch that feature with. So we are in discussions with some companies. Maybe we'll even partner with you to deliver that feature. Okay, <laughs> we'll <laughs> talk about that because I'm interested in seeing where this is going to go. Um, how many how many people can edit this? So let, let's say we have the, these four or five videos all imported, all on our timeline. We have some music. Can Rocky and I edit at the same time? on this, or, or does it have one editor that controls everything? Okay, so uh, when you open a, type line, a, a timeline, uh, you are editing on that timeline. Um, we haven't opened up for real-time collaboration yet because it can become a little bit messy. Let's say you have 10 different people rumbling around inside of a video and uh, adding clips and cutting clips and changing things around. It can be a bit frustrating. So right now we have what we call sequential collaboration. But we are looking at potentially adding on also real-time collaboration um, in different manners. So, so sequential would be I edit my piece of the video, then I you save it, then I then, chat then Rocky, Rocky opens. Yeah. Okay. Mm. So Rocky, only one person can edit it at one time right now. Per timeline, but you can even open different versions of the timeline. Uh, so you can actually let's say it's a bigger program, a one-hour program. 
Um, then you can actually cut it up in sequences, where one person work on the last 20 minutes, another person on the middle 20 minutes, uh, the first one on the first 20 minutes, and then you just uh, pull it all together in the end. Can I import? Um, can I can I clone timelines? So if I have these four video cameras of these GoPro skiers. Can I uh, copy that to a different timeline so that Absolutely. we can have a different cut with different kinds of music and maybe even have different camera angles? Then that is one of the things we had from day one is that uh, you can go in and work on Rocky's timeline, you save it down, he can continue working on yours. You can even have a thousand people sequentially working on this and then improving on it, each other's work. So oh. can you imagine even having a uh, movie being produced with a million contributors and 10,000 editors? Uh, this hasn't been possible on a desktop platform, but it can now be done in the cloud. What kind of dissolves do you have between cuts, between uh, shots? Uh, is it just a cut, you know, a clean cut, or do you have wipes, do you have dissolves? We have uh, almost everything. <laughs> we have a, a big library of uh, different transitions already now, and we are, with the marketplace, we'll be opening up even for the professional type Hollywood transitions uh, also to be introduced into this, the same transitions and effects that you would expect to see in uh, Final Cut Pro, for instance, you'll be able to see also on our platform. So I might be forward. able to buy a new kind of Dissolve for a dollar or something like that? You got it, exactly. Oh, interesting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you're doing the, uh, the Instagram filter model kind yeah. of thing. We, we already have it there. When we launched with YouTube in October, uh, we already added on the first few filters. And it wasn't like only a static filter. We have dynamic filters. So you see uh, the love theme or the action theme it actually have animation overlaid over the video and it changing the color correction and so on to make the videos look really cool or really romantic if that's what you want. Do you do any image correction? Because if uh, Rocky doesn't white balance our cameras properly, sometimes they turn blue or turn orange. You, you can got you, it. Can you fix all that Absolutely. stuff? Absolutely. It's all built in. And what about if uh, Rocky's a little shaky because he's carrying around the camera? That's coming. <laughs> okay, so, if yeah. so image stabilization kind of features are coming. Yeah. This is a crazy world. And how much does this cost? It's free. Uh, you can get started for free uh, because we are using the freemium model. So we gave away. We want everybody in the world who want to start editing video to start playing around with our platform. So uh, for free, you get one gigabyte of storage. Uh, you get about 15 minutes of video you can export uh, every month. And you can export. But right now, we limited the size of the video. So you can only export 360p with a cute little V video watermark. If you want to have higher resolution, longer videos, more storage, then you can start paying for it. And it starts from about $5 a month it's for a, a premium version. W what's the highest level? You know, Somebody like Rocky is going to want the full blown 1080p, lots of storage. Absolutely. Yeah. So we have uh, professional packages for about $60 a month. OK. Mm. Um, on, uh, you were showing me your cell phone, so you can upload video from your cell phone uh, live, and, that, and Rocky could be editing it as it's coming in? Absolutely. So this is one of the beauties, is that we have a version of our software also running now on, on smartphones and on tablets. Um, we haven't launched it yet, but it will be launched very soon. So what I have here is alpha. But the point is that you can just go and say, here, I want to record a video. You use the built-in uh, camera on the phone. And you can shoot a video. Here is hello. Here is Robert. Here is Rocky. I hit save. Um, and what is now happening is that it pushes up the video straight up to the cloud. And so let's say uh, you are at a concert, uh, for instance, Lady Gaga. She could host a concert, and she could have ten thousand of her little monsters all filming and taking photos from the concert. And so while the concert is on, the video can be uploaded, and somebody can start editing from that concert immediately while the concert is on. Wow. That's really cool. Hmm. On the export, it exports to YouTube? Or YouTube, Vimeo, Twitter, Facebook. Uh, so we have made it so uh, fast and simple. So when you're finished with your project, uh, if you want to save it out to YouTube, you just hit also if you want to publish to Facebook and Twitter, one click, and it publishes to all places. Yeah. Not very many people are playing with 3D yet, but I just bought a 3D camera. Are you thinking of 3D uh, compatibility? Yeah, I've been talking about it. And uh, you'll probably see it coming from us. It's not among the first features we uh, will be introducing, but uh, it's, it's in the long-term roadmap. And uh, last question, tell me a little bit about the company. How is it funded? And how are you building a company and not just a product? Absolutely. So uh, the company originally started in Norway. That's where the technology was developed, Norway and Romania. 
Uh, one year ago, when we decided to go for the global mass market, we said we should set up headquarters in Silicon Valley. So uh, we have our sales and marketing and the management of the company now in Silicon Valley. Uh, continue developing it in Europe, uh, but we are now going global from here. Very cool. How are you funded? Uh, so far funded by uh, the founders and private investors. So we have raised about close to $3 million so far. And uh, we'd love to raise a little bit more. Uh, also looking at doing a Series A later this year, a few million dollars. And then the idea is to grow big and, uh, and to become a global leader. I wish I had some money to invest because it sounds like a great idea. <laughs> so congrats and uh, thanks for Fantastic. helping Thank us you. do some innovative new kinds of video editing. Thank you. Thank you. By the way, where do I find it? WeVideo.com. And you're on Twitter and Facebook and Google Plus? Absolutely. You can find us uh, most places. Great. Thank you very much. Thank you.